Soybeans response to water stress early in the season depends a lot upon what stage of growth the soybeans are at. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six trifoliates have developed and so the soybeans response to this early season drought stress was in response to how well did the roots develop early. When this was planted in a timely fashion last week April or so uh, we had good adequate soil moisture and to get good rooting depth. In doing that we've set our stage up for handling the drier conditions that have come on in through May as well as June. And so a field like this you look across it, it looks pretty good considering how dry it's been. Uh, the, the plant is still responding to the drought stress. The way it's responding is in terms of where it's allocating its sugars, uh, the sugars that develop from photosynthesis. More of the energy of this plant and this field is being put into the root development. And again, that's what's helping this plant survive and do much better than its counterpart when you look uh, to a neighboring field of corn. Uh, in this field, we ha will have some of the leaves that are, will flip over. They're going to show their backside, so the silver green color. And they're going to be reflecting sunlight so they're not absorbing it. In doing that, they're also going to uh, conserve the amount of moisture, amount of water that they transpire. So in doing that, again, they're conserving the energy. What energy is there is getting put into root development. Now, as you progress from plants that just flip their leaves to that green side, the silver green side, you can go the ones right next door where they actually start to, I call it clamping, where they've got the silver green side, but now they're all kind of orienting. Here we have a trifoliate where the two outside ones are almost clamping together quite literally, and the middle trifoliate leaflet is within there, and it's almost shutting down in terms of the amount of photosynthesis that's occurring. In terms of the, a field like this and how it's going to respond to early season drought stress, uh, it's holding on, looks pretty well. Uh, it's going to start flowering. In fact, this one has just started flowering. Um, so we're into R1. With this earlier flowering, um, the number of nodes that will develop in a drought stress year will certainly be less. And so if there is any yield impact, it may be potentially in fewer nodes. 